ever see something real scary? If you look, you will die. Do you understand? Who is that? I just tried to hang up on him. Can we get rid of this person? I don't know. Is he here the whole time? It's just probably a glitch. Oh, hey. <laughs> Who's that? I gotta go to bed. The fuck? Alright, everyone, hands up right now. Who's doing this? E. A. <laughs> Battle Royale is a genre that literally nobody cared about. Not until early 2017 when a studio named Butthole released Player Unknown's Pan Pan Game. Pan Game? <laughs> As the player count rocked up day by day, it was soon be known truth. Hey yo, what the call the police! <laughs> VR is the future, and that future was gonna fill the pockets of the gaming industry. With each variation, the map got bigger, the graphics got better, the gameplay got crazier, and the players happier, just like a true VR playground. Most of them got sent back to the lobby, and only the best remained. PUBG, realism, Fortnite, creativity, Warzone, friendly proximity, voice chat, and Apex. It's the gameplay, yeah, gunplay and stuff, really cool. Made by Respawn Entertainment, one of the most supportive studios and published by EA, a trustworthy and totally not money greedy company. Apex suddenly appeared in early 2019 and soon became the best BR ever made. Nearly four years after the game was released, Apex Meme Legends Season 15, Bog Moon, had dropped. And by dropped, I mean the game just dropped into the abyss, like literally, they, they just left it. So what happened? How did we get to this point? I don't know. October 31st, 2022, the day the patch notes dropped, people are confused. There's no new major buffs and nerfs, especially for Mr. Walking Warhack. Definitely not because of his upcoming $160 sickle. No buffs or nerfs? People are pissed. People are upset. We, we got gifting. That's dope. November 1st, 2022, season 15 is finally here. EA and Respawn once again hold hands, waiting for the number to rise and break the stonks just like last season. But the truth? Casual players are angry, content creators are disappointed, and the pros are baffled. And why? I don't know. With a new map that is absolutely gorgeous in concept, but looks like Storm Point 2.0 in the game. Bigger POIs, but also less of them. No vehicle or AI enemies, just a zip route with little to no sound effects. Three days after the season was released, and it was evident, we were flabbergasted by Respawn. Catalyst was advertised to be a hard counter against the scan meta, but turns out she is the lamb source to make Mr. Walking Warhack even more cancerous. Yeah, you can find a base. Yep, that's balanced. That is very balanced. Okay. Yeah. November 6, 2022. People found a way to speedrun every heirloom by doing a simple lag glitch, and Respawn noticed this faster than fixing their audio problem. November 11, 2022. You can use the gift system, but there's a catch. EA and Respawn will receive your money, but you and your friend both receive nothing. What? Do not send gifts right now, they are extremely broken and there's a chance uh, they just won't send, but it will take your money. Truly an EA experience. Most of the big servers slowly become Ohio servers when sudden lag, DDoS and cheaters start to appear more and more in ranked. Meanwhile, Respawn was busy fixing the alien glitch for the third time because for some reason every time they fixed it, people found another way to replicate the glitch. Bruh. November 29, 2022. Christmas is coming. At EA's HQ, an employee of Respawn walked into the head office and asked, should we publish it? And somebody that probably has a negative 69 IQ answered, yes it? So the next day, we got a new Winter Express trailer. And let me tell you, I love it when Respawn has the balls to say, it's recycled time. Then gives us an overused broken road for the fourth time with 30 overpriced skins and calls them content. Like what? Congratulations. You played yourself. At the end of the day, Apex for me is still the best BR game with smooth movement, satisfying gameplay, interesting legends, and a decent set of weapons. But we can all agree that Respawn is slacking in supporting the game and its community. Cross progression is still not here after they promised it two years ago. Matchmaking seems like it doesn't exist or it's too, it, it, it's too strong. No arcade playlists or permanent game modes that we can kind of just have some fun with with our friends. No custom games for casuals and no replay mode. Please fix the game respawn, please. EA, please give them more money to, to hire more people to work at respawn to focus on Apex Legends, your $2 billion game. $2 billion.
everyone. Exo Hill. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everyone out there. Hope you all are enjoying the holiday season around... <laughs> surrounded by those that you love. And hope that you go into the new year is succeeding in all your goals and all the wonderful stuff. We'll see you in 2023 for some more incredibly... Season 16. I have reason to believe season 16 is going to be insane. So do not lose hope. Do not lose hope in the apex of legends. All right. But much love, everyone. And we'll see you soon. Peace.